Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting yet relaxing episode of ASMR Sherry's Variety Show. Before we get started with the show, I'd like to welcome everyone here, especially the new people, people who may have tuned on to the show for the first time. I would encourage you to watch it till the end, and if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, because we'd love for you to be a part of our growing family. Now, on with the show. I am super excited to bring you this show today because it's unlike anything I've ever done before. This is my very first ever children's show. But it's not just for the kids. It's for the young and young at heart. So I thought we would start the show off with a song. We'll just sing the first verse. And some of you older people may know it. It's called Playmate. And I invite you to sing along. And for those of you who may not know the words, I, I invite you to just sit back and listen and enjoy. So I think we'll start on three. One, two, three. Oh, little playmate, come on and play with me and bring your dollies three. Climb up my apple tree, look down my rain barrel, slide through my cellar door, and we'll be jolly friends forevermore. Wasn't that fun? Now, can you guess what the theme of today's show is? That's right. It's friendship. Old friends and new friends. Friends that live close by and those that are far away. It's about best friends, imaginary friends making friends, keeping friends. So today's show is going to be all about friendship and I would like to introduce you to a pair of friends that may not be what you think. And here they are. They often say best friends go together like burgers and fries. So let's look. Look at this little hamburger. Do you like hamburgers? I do. But as much as they are the same, they're different. Do you like your hamburgers with lettuce? Do you like pickles, onions, tomatoes, or maybe you just like ketchup and mustard? Do you like them well done, medium, medium rare? Do you like sesame seeds on your bun? How do you enjoy your hamburger? Because as I said, as much as they are alike, they're that different, just like people. And now let's take a moment and look at the French fries. Now don't they look good? Look at all those fries. And you know, french fries, they're different too. Do you like curly fries? 
cheese fries, steak fries, shoestring fries. Do you like yours with salt, ketchup, or maybe just plain? Yes, french fries too. As much as they are the same, they're different, just like people. But you know what? They go together. And that's what friendship is about. Getting along, being together, no matter how different we may be, we're the same as well. So I thought, in keeping with this theme of friendship, I would like to read you a little poem simply entitled, Friendship. So. Sit back and relax as I read you friendship. Friendship can be a special smile or yet a quiet word that causes someone's heart to reach, to speak out and be heard. It may just be remembering the glad times shared by two, the thoughtful things that tell someone I found a friend in you. But if it just be whisper soft, the sound of moments shared, it makes our lives more meaningful to know that someone cared. Now, this is a simple definition of the word friend, noun. Someone who gives you freedom to be yourself. One of the nicest things you can have. The best thing you can be. And one more short poem called Friendship Poem. Oh, what a joy it is to have a friend like you for giving me the strength the way you do, for lifting me up when I'm feeling down and putting a smile on my face when I'm wearing a frown. Thanks for being there and helping me grow. Your friendship means a lot. This I'd like you to know. I like those thoughts about friendships. Can you think about your friend right now? What do the two of you enjoy doing? Do you like to share secrets? Talk on the phone? meet somewhere for lunch? What do you and your friend like to do? Friends are so special to us. And because of that, I thought it might be nice to draw a picture. Now, we can draw a picture of our friend or maybe draw a picture for our friend. A lot of the people here already have paper and pen, but for those that don't, I have some extra for everyone, and I think this would be a nice time to draw a picture.
Now, I'd like to ask you, will you be drawing a picture of you and your friend together? Will this be just a picture of your friend? Or maybe you would like to draw a picture of something that they like. There's nothing right or wrong. It's whatever you feel like drawing. Can you remember when you met your friend for the first time? Did you ever meet someone you thought wouldn't be your friend? but you wound up liking them very much. And I'm going to draw one more little picture here. And I think once we do this, let's plan on giving our special homemade pictures to our very special friend. So let me show you what I've drawn for a friend. I drew three balloons because balloons they're free they can float just about anywhere they're different and they're alike and they're usually a cause of celebration when we see balloons it means something happy is happening or will happen. And this is what I wanted to surprise my friend with. Balloons from me to her. What have you decided? Something special your friend likes? Well, I am so happy to be able to bring this show, this special children's show, to all of you. And if you like it, please let me know, because I sure would like to do more of these special children's shows. And I was very happy that I could introduce you to a pair of friends, Burger and Fries. I know I love my hamburger and french fries, and maybe that's something you enjoy doing with your friends, going out for burgers and fries. Maybe you'll do that today. But one thing that you have done is you stop by the show, and I hope that you enjoyed it, and you'll come back again soon for another exciting episode. So until next time, I wish you well. And I'll see you back here again very soon.